Dave Meltzer, welcome, brother. I talk about brother. You are a brother from another mother. I can't believe the similarities. Right. I hope it's interesting to other people. I know. We think it's interesting, but hopefully, hopefully it's interesting for all of you. Dave's the CEO of Sports One Marketing. He's also one of the great philanthropists in the country, and he's an interesting man. And that's why this conversation today, I think, can alter your life, too, because he's a sports agent, but he also does all these other things. He's been successful in the real estate space, in the technology space. He's now in sort of the life strategy and coaching space as well. But when I first started to read about you, I thought, I'm going to meet this sports agent guy. He's going to be intense. He's going to be kind of a grinder, you know. And uh, I found out it was almost like I'm meeting the Wayne Dyer of sports agents. You know, I met I this that. very zen, very <laughs> energy-based guy like I am. And so we share a whole lot in common. So today's conversation, I think you're going to love everybody. So let's start out a little bit about you, though. Um, you end up doing really well right out of college, right? So, at a law school. At a law school. Yeah. So you went to Tulane Law School. Yes, sir. And you graduate there, and within nine months, tell them what happens to you. Because I want you all to hear the ups and downs of real life business and real life from one of the most successful people in the country. So, what happens at a law school? So, so out of law school, I have two choices for jobs, and it's Good. a recession. Right. One was to be a real lawyer, oil yeah. and gas litigator. You know, big money. I, all I wanted to do is be rich, is why I went to law school. <laughs> and then the second was to work in the internet. Okay. And I got offered a job to sell legal research online by okay. West Publishing, okay. big, big legal publisher. And so I go to my mom, because you'll appreciate this. I go to my mom, hey, what should I do, mom? My big advisor, you know, I grew up with a single mom, six kids. Wow. And she, without blinking, is like, you need to be a real lawyer, because <laughs> this right. internet thing is a fad. <laughs> So she calls the internet a fat, right. and I always say, because I like to teach lessons, yeah. biggest lesson of my life was just because somebody loves you wow. doesn't mean they give you good advice. Amen. And I see so many people, mm. entrepreneurs, in relationships, they ask for advice for people that don't know anything. My mom's a second grade teacher. Right. What does Be she know beautiful, about Beautiful technology? soul, but not a technology expert. No, right. and if I would have followed, it would have, I think, slowed down or, mm. you know, at yeah. least not allowed me to have the acceleration I had. So I took the technology job, right. uh, you know, single, money hungry, yeah. in a sales job in the internet. Yeah. And yeah. I made a fortune nine months into it. I had three goals when I went to law school. If I could only pay back my law loans, okay. buy my mom a home, yep. and buy my mom a car. So mom, even though she gave you the advice the other way, was the driving force behind most of the beginning of it. Oh, though. I choke up still. I got mommy issues. Um, <laughs> And yeah. I was so proud of myself because you, I still had a little bit left choke over. Up. You do. Yeah. Oh, you'll yeah. see. Yeah. Uh, but I bought myself a big screen TV. That, that was that, that was a big was, thing you did for you. Nine months. Yeah. And I I saved every penny. Mm -hmm. I had a twenty five dollar per diem. I bought mm -hmm. peanut butter and jelly to take on the road with me so I could wow. get the extra one hundred and seventy five dollars a week. As you're accumulating a million dollars in savings over that time. Yeah. Did you save a million bucks the first night? Oh, months? I saved more, more. I saved oh. almost every penny because the company I traveled so much. Yeah. I got it for uh, ha a car, house, everything they paid for. I was wow. in hotel rooms, I had wow. corporate suites in Indiana. Wow. And so it was a perfect job for me because it was a full expense account. My laundry was paid for, yeah. my food. Yeah. And I still, I wore for three years, embarrassing enough, yeah. I wore the same pair of socks, not because <laughs> I couldn't afford new ones, but I somehow in my sports mind, yeah. I, I thought they were lucky. You were lucky socks. And I yep. was like in the East Coast and my shoe had a hole in the bottom and the sock. <laughs> and I finally, and I was a, a very wealthy young man at yeah, that time, right. more than a million dollars. Okay, okay. And I'm wearing holes in my sock and shoes <laughs> in the snow. That's a trip. I think, I, by the way, I had the hole in the shoe thing going. I did the same thing. I saved every dollar. Mine didn't replace my shoes, not because they were lucky. I was being cheap. I was trying to save every buck. <laughs> nice. But I got to tell you, there's a lesson one just to start the interview. There's more dreams stolen from people who love you than by people who don't love you. Just the uh -huh. advice we take or the people that talk us out of it because we take advice from people we love in areas where they're not competent, right? Exactly. I'd take advice from your mom on how to love somebody. That'd be great advice, right? Yeah, but on how to teach and motivate teach. a young man, right? So be very careful just because you love them or they love you of thinking they have some expertise in an area that you don't, right? They probably don't. And so oftentimes we take advice from the wrong person derails our dreams. So that's lesson one. One more thing too, yeah. we end up resenting them which is worse. So all the people that love wow. us most, we end up resenting them because they gave us bad advice. And meanwhile, mm. we should be accountable because we asked the second grade teacher for internet advice. Mm. It's, and that's the worst part. That's really true. So what happens after that?